the second half of the year, I was kind of just dealing with the same thing over and over, and over again. And I missed a couple games there. And uh, the playoffs, it kind of got worse last two rounds. So um, thankful for the training staff here and the doctors because uh, we had a lot of guys playing with some injuries that were like really tough injuries. So um, kind of sucks, especially to get this close. But you want to play in every game possible. and. Um, I think that all the guys would say that if they didn't play through that pain, they could sit here with a lot of regret. And I said, none of us have regret today. So um, kind of sucks the way it ended. But um, looking at the big picture is a great year for our team. And I think uh, the guys inside that dressing room came a long way. And <clears throat> we sat here and talked about the playoffs and how good we think we could be. And we had never proved it. I think we did that. So I think that's kind of the, the message to take out of everything and uh, how you know, positive a year it was. Yeah, it was just it was just aggravating it. That wasn't the injury, obviously. I've been playing through some stuff for the second half of the year. Like, I missed four games with like what twenty games left or whatever it was. So, um, <clears throat> obviously in playoffs, I mean, like I said, there was a lot of guys playing through some stuff. It was pretty inspiring. So, um, unfortunately, with an injury like lower body, it's the littlest tweak and the littlest kind of jolt can can hurt. So, it was tough. It was a uh, it was a Kind of a crappy way to end, but uh, you know that's part of sports. Well, what do you need surgery? Uh, I find out tomorrow. I find out tomorrow. So uh, I was just dealing with like uh, like a pelvis injury, like my whole pelvis, and which makes both groins and both ab your abs just felt like I was playing with a knife in my abs. Felt like the last like little while. So we'll find out tomorrow, but uh, I mean hopefully not. But uh, we'll see. What, what were the discussions like before Game Six? came off and how close was it to going one way or the other? I mean, it's tough to say. I think, like, you always want to play. I think, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, like, as players, you just do your best to play. And I think that, um, you know, in hindsight, you know, you can make, you could say everything, you could have done this, could have done that. But I think that, you know, me, me playing and other guys playing through what they played through, I think, inspires everybody. And I think it was the right decision, I think. Um, you know, like, for example, Good, Goody coming back in game six, like, I think things like that motivate your team. Obviously, guys aren't at 100 percent, but it's tough to say, like, in a playoff game, like, you feel good. And then, you know, once the play starts, you get out there, like, it's a lot faster, and a lot more intense than you think. So, you know, in hindsight, everything's 2020. But I, I, I think that um, I think me and a couple other guys would have a lot of regret if we didn't push through. And um, I think it says a lot about our team. and. Um, thank you, and uh, and the character we have. Was it, is there a feeling of just the uncertainty of what's coming in the off season? Was that a factor in saying I got to be out there for the last month? Yeah, I don't think so. I think I think I did a good job of kind of not thinking about that as much as possible. It's kind of hard, obviously, but um, yeah, like you know, this group of guys have been through a lot. I feel like when I got here. And last two years, imagining ourselves in this situation was probably tough to imagine. And we, we made it all this way, and you want to, you know, do everything you can. So, um, you know, I, I would never make a decision one way or another based on if I had a contract or if I didn't. It was about this group of guys. And obviously, this group will never be together again. But, um, you know, I think it was a gutsy effort by a lot of guys. and. We were close, but not close enough. But I think the one thing that maybe we were missing was a bit of experience and, you know, realizing how hard it is. And I think this group has that now. So um, going forward, I think super optimistic. Are there things you take away just from the last four games, watching a champion, you know, maybe not even at their best because you, know, you, were, you, know, you were there at the game with them, but seeing what they were able to do in the cool games, is that something this group will be able to do? A hundred percent. I think, you know, the first two series we had gutsy efforts and whatever, but I think it was a totally different beast in a team that's won 11 straight playoff series. Like, like, I don't know what guys have said today, but I mean, you can't say enough about that team and what they've done. It's like, it's unbelievable. I know how hard it was for us to uh, <clears throat> get to this point and uh, to know that they've done it for three straight years, it'd be so easy for those guys to like say they've won two cups and whatever. And 
just so gutsy by them. I think the way they, I think the adjustments they made to limit their turnovers after game two, like they didn't give us much. The first two games we were, you know, opening it up a little bit and we had a ton of chances after that. They, they showed their championship pedigree, I think. And um, I truly think that if we were a little healthier and had some rest, it might have been a different story. But that's the playoffs and they've been through three straight years of this, so there's no excuses. And um, they, are, uh, they are a special team for a, for a lot of reasons and um, they deserve a ton of credit, I think. What they've done the last three years is, uh, I mean, anyone can learn from it, but I think getting a first-hand view of that is the best experience you can get, and I think we got that. Ryan, you've spent eight of your ten years in New York, and you know this market well, you know this landscape well. How much do you want to be a part of this going forward? Yeah, it's uh, most of my 20s in New York. I'm like an adopted New Yorker, and uh, no, but, you know, obviously my heart's here. I think the last four years I've, uh, you know, tried to pour everything into this thing on and off the ice <clears throat> as much as I could. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. I, I can't predict the future. Um, but all I know is that I love these guys. And I think we have some unfinished business. And this team's destined for great things in the future. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens. It's, it's a little emotional, honestly. It's, uh, it's a great group of guys. And hope there's more. Is it, this is your, your first time as an unrestricted free agent. Like, what? What does that feel like now going into a summer where you could have options, you know, all these things are going to be kind of at your disposal? Well, I said to you guys at the beginning of the season, my longest deal has been my entry-level contract, so hopefully it's a little longer than that. But uh, we'll see. Um, like I said, my first choice is still to be a New York Ranger. Um, I think I've given them the indication that's, that's my feeling. And um, if that's not the case, then we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. I, like I said, I don't really know what to expect because I've never been through it. I have no idea. I've watched uh, Trade Center and whatever, or Free Agent Frenzy and all that stuff. So I guess it'll be weird to see your name on that friends list or on that list. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. This, uh, this business is crazy. And I think things can change at any given moment. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been good. Um, you know, obviously, I think when you look back on the last couple of years, it's it's more than just the on ice stuff with these guys, which is you know the best part. Like the group of guys that have come together here, the core of this team, and you know some of the guys. It's uh, it's a really special bond, and um, I I think you guys can feel that from the outside, but like inside the dressing room, it's uh, it's really special. So. That last game in Tampa was really tough in the dressing room. That was uh, the most emotional end of the season I've ever seen by far. It was, uh, <clears throat> it was tough, but um, you know, we'll see what happens. I think lifelong friendships with a lot of these guys, and I hope we keep it going because I think this team, like I said, is destined for great things. And um, you know, me and Brett have become great friends. And you know, off the ice, I know I have a, a buddy to call and a, and, and a guy that I'm really close with, and I think vice versa forever. And um, you know, that's the best part about sports. I mean, obviously you want to win and that's what it's all about. But, the, you know, the relationships you make within that grind is, uh, is, is the special part of it. And, um, you know, there's, there's a ton of great friendships on this team, as I think you guys can see. When, when you leave the Islanders, uh, I would, you know, were you thinking, okay, that's it for New York? You know, <laughs> I'm never going to wind up back there. Yeah, when, I, uh, when Peter Shirley called me in Edmonton and said I got traded, he said, I'm not, I don't, it's not done yet, so I'll call you back. And I had to wait like 40 minutes. So I called my, uh, my wife and my family. I said I got traded, and I'm like, no idea where. Found out it was the Rangers. I'm like, holy, I had, I, that was probably the last team on the list I ever expected. So, you know, it's been uh, like playing for the Rangers has been a dream come true. I think I never thought that uh, getting drafted by the Islanders that would happen, but it's been, it's been unreal. I think this team, like I keep saying, we're, I don't want to look too big picture because it really sucks, this feeling like I don't want to overlook how, how this team feels after being so close. But from when I got here to, you know, the last few years and, you know, getting to this moment and, you know, solidifying ourselves that, uh, you know, it does feel good in a sense. It's, uh, it's not our end goal and I think this team's going to get there. But, you know, the work done so far feels really good and I think we put a lot into that. Yeah, we talked a little bit, but I think um, I think both sides, like once we got a little closer, it was like focus on hockey. And um, I, I try not to be a part of it as much as possible. I think going through it, like as the player, you kind of get information 
second hand from your agent, and then he calls the team and whatever. So I feel like it's best to stay out of as much as possible. I feel like for me, it was a little bit hard to focus the more I was involved. So I tried just to stay out of it a little bit. I think um, that'll change a little bit as the season ends, I'm sure. But during the season, there's so much going on. And, and also dealing with a little bit of an injury at the same time was just so many things. And I got two young kids and so much going on at home that uh, it makes for a lot to think about. So um, yeah, we'll see where it goes. So your preference would be not to get to Shellac? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I, for, like, I mean, who knows what happens, but I've put everything into this team, and I think the guys that are here have, and um, I would love nothing more to keep it going. So that's, uh, I just feel like there's a bit of unfinished business, and we've built a good thing, but like I said, I, I can't predict the future. You anticipate a fairly normal summer, regardless of whether you're going to need surgery or not? Will you, you know, do you think your rehab won't impinge on preparing for next season? No, nah, I think if anything, it'll make you prepare more. You want to get back healthy as quick as possible, but um, I've always been a guy that, uh, you know, outside of my family life, I put a ton of effort in the offseason trying to get better, and that was my one message to these guys, like Drew and everyone, just, you know, I'm 28 and everything like that, but I still think there's room for growth, and I'm always trying to get better, and um, I've never dealt with an injury like this, but um, that's just a little bit more motivation to get back at her, to be honest with you, and I think the, mess the, the feeling that we have and being so close, you know how hard it is, I think. That just fuels your motivation for the offseason. I know like some of these things I'm saying are maybe a little bit cliche, but when you see how hard it is to get to where we got, I think you realize how much you got to put in the offseason to get back here. And um, I hope everyone's feeling the same way because that's the way I feel. If you need surgery, is it like that core muscle surgery? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we'll, we'll see what it turns out to be. I'm hoping that's not the case, but I guess we'll find out more in the next couple of days.